Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I'm going to talk to you about this. Do I like to do night shifts? Reasons why. Number one, you be coming home from work, getting the bus, getting the train home there. You be home around like 8 or 9 a.m. because of rush hour in the mornings because people do 9 to 5 jobs there you're just coming home there getting something to eat as in your dinner there watch a bit of tv until one o'clock lunchtime then and then go to bed then then get up ready for action then at six in the afternoon or seven in the afternoon hopping on the bus again at night time there and then it's like repeat, repeat after repeat. It's like, so hey, how is your new job? Oh yeah, it's grand, yeah, yeah. Best thing ever I've done actually. And you're just kinda of like lying to them there. It's like, God, I cannot wait for my two days off, one day off. I absolutely wrecked after doing so many night shifts that it wrecks your sleep fact it absolutely does to be fair with you absolutely does you're trying to relax there there's a builders going on down your road making noise and all there and there's you trying to go to sleep it's like, jesus fucking christ it's yeah but it's during the day pal can't give it to us so my problem you have a um a night Working night shift. <sighs> so they aren't going against the law. Nope. Uh, and then you're just like, oh my god, I can't go to sleep. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck it anyway. I'll stay up then. There, I'll probably fall asleep or something on the couch. And then it turns out, you may do. There might be like on and off sleep. There. You know. And then sometimes then it's like, Oh my god, the weekend, yes, the real weekend. There's you. Hey, um, Keen. Yeah, wake up. <sighs> Keen, come on. Are you getting up? It's um three in, the, three in the afternoon daytime. No, why not? Dude, I've been work well oh there you are. I've been working since when when you f people finish work at nine to five job, I'm only getting out of the bed at five. At five p.m. and then going into work there, just before eight o'clock. Start my shift, there, until the following morning basically, and then there's me coming home there. There's people ready to rock and fucking roll for for work, there, and then there's me then. Relaxing on my day off there. It's like, dude, are you ever going to get up? No, I'm missing too much sleep during the week there. And then sleep does actually build up, build up, build up. I know a pile of people that do night shifts there. And yes, I'm going to say it for you. The people that didn't go to college, right? And they picked out night shifts might be the best solution. It ain't the solution. Maybe cool when managers aren't there at night time, yeah. But the only problem that you're going to have is that it's going to bite you in the ass is that sleep. You're going to have bags underneath your eyes there. You're going to have, oh, I'm yawning so much. I'm yawning so much. There, so are you ready? Fresh rock and roll. That's kind of like your body's half asleep, half not. And then when it went, what? When it comes to your two days off, it's like, oh, Friday, yes. Right? The body automatically knows then. Ah, weekend now, the, the real weekend. There's you sleeping during the daytime, nighttime. There, the, the body, the system knows when you're going to fall asleep. There. And then you go. Close him. And then you just like that then. And you, even when you're watching TV, you're going out for a pint. Say, oh, I'm ready for a pint. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I'll just get my shoes on. And then there's you then. 
Wake up, huh? Mom. Oh, yeah. Mm, my orange juice. So fucking orange juice, dude. It's, seven, it's, it's a drink from the bar. Oh, right. right. Mm, time's it. Oh, shit. What? I'm going to work dude. Yeah, tomorrow is uh, Sunday. Oh, yeah. Nice. <sighs> it just messes up your times, your days. They're all together. Makes the week go longer as well. You think better, right? Yeah. You finish your night shift, right? Yeah. On Sunday. Yeah. And then, oh, would you look at that? Monday morning. You're only coming home Monday morning. Right? Yeah. And then you go to bed. Yeah. And then you wake up. It's like, right. You have to do the Monday shift. Then at night time. And then, oh, would you look at that? It's Tuesday. Then a Tuesday morning then. You're going back to bed there. Have something to eat. And then you're waking up again. It's like, Jesus Christ. The day is strolling in. It's only Tuesday. I tell it. Um, my me day is Wednesday. It's like, no, it's like you're doing almost two days in one kind of thing there in the week. And you're like, oh, yeah, I'm exhausted. <sighs> I can't stop yawning to yourself. And plus as well, right, your head would be all over the place, to be honest with you there. You can barely make, to say if you have sports training on there, you can barely even... Keep your eyes open when you're going sports training there. And plus as well, then if you have in a relationship with a girl, with a girl or with a boy there. Right, it's going to mess up their systems as well. It's like, how, hey, babe, yeah, I can't go out tonight. It's like, oh, how come I have to cover someone? So technically I'm actually working tonight, coming home then tomorrow morning, basically. They're sick. Oh, but I'm in work there. So how can we, how, how can that work then? I, I can't even see you. Because you're coming home in the morning there. I'll be in bed there and then getting up for work during the week. I think like, I, I can only see you at the weekends there. Oh, this is, this is fucked up. I was like, yeah, it is. <laughs> Why can't you get another job? Yeah, but uh, I actually kind of like, like, that means that I suffered a job loss, then I have to look for another job. And it ain't easy getting another job. You could be there for two months looking for a job. And then once you're in the job, then you're on con contract there, whatever it is there. But never mind that, but like the two months there, or maybe even three months trying to find a job there. It's like, oh, we'll get back to you if they don't. Do you know what I mean? You have to find another one, another one, another one. It's like, hopefully this is the one. Yes. Like that's like, oh Jesus, yeah, I forgot about that actually, yeah. Like, cause you feel like so comfortable in that job, even though you hate it kind of thing that you, you, once you're, you're jobless, and you're like, I need this, I need another, another job straight away. Oh yes, I need the money. Do you know what I mean? It changes your attitude very quickly. There, it's like, oh babe, but like, I, I can't see if you're doing nice shifts. Why can't you get off the nice shifts there and look for a different job, you know? Like, why don't you work in a grocery store or something there? You're working during the day there. You finish what? To say when the store closes at 9 o'clock, right? Yeah. We can see each other then, basically there until midnight. And then I can go home midnight then, you know? It's like, oh, yeah. I forgot about that, actually. I, yeah. And it's like, yeah. What do you think of that, about that instead of getting up at opposite times, basically? Like Australia times, New Zealand times. It's like with Ireland, right? Opposite times of Australia, 12 hour difference. It's like, oh, it's 8.20 in the morning now in Dublin, Ireland. There, it's like, oh, would you look at that? Well, it's 8 in the morning over there. So it's 8 at night here, so it's 8 in the morning there. As it's like, yep, so when I'm going to bed, you're getting up. It's like, yeah, that's our relationship life. So yeah, it's fucked up basically there. Hey, babe, yeah, I can't really even see you during the week. There, I have to wait, I have to wait what, what, what's that? Basically six days until I see you. 
to be honest, because, like, Saturday, yeah, but that'd be Saturday night or something like that, like, uh, and then we only have two days together then, it's like, that's just fucked up, to be honest there, and it can't, could mess up your relationship, it can, some people, like, to be fair, right, some men will say, ah, fuck it, there, I'll get another one there, unfortunate, there, or even the women, or even the women can be like this as well. It's like, yeah, he's not making time for me at all there. You're like, he won't switch jobs. Like, honestly, like, what the fuck is wrong with him there? Like, I, I thought he loves me there. And then she'll just say, bye-bye. I'll find another one. Really? Honestly, you have to think about these things as well. What you have going on in your love life and family life as well, to be fair. Even your parents could say, I never even... When you come home, yeah, I only see you in the mornings. Then you're going to bed. And then you wake up then at, at night time, basically. When we're having our dinner there, you're only getting your breakfast there. Oh, hey, see you later, bye. That's it. I don't even get a chance to see my son anymore. He's always on the feckin' go. This is unbelievable it is. Now, why can't you switch jobs? Like, seriously, this is... Absolutely fucking mad. Hey, mom, I have to pay the bills, though, you know, like, or pay rent, whatever. There, I have to make my own money. I know that, but you know, you can, you could get a, another job, though, as well. Like, what? A different job, like, you know, a daytime job there, and then be done with it. Hmm. I never thought. Yeah, but, uh, cause I'm so used to actually having um a a night shift job, I was like, well, you want to see your mates again and see the daytime people there like that. You can't even go out for a pint even. That's true. Actually, you can't, cause the bars are closed in the mornings when you're coming home. Oh yeah, that's another thing as well. Yep. Dude, I'm sacrificing a lot, actually. You are. It's not just, a, like, um, a job there. You're sacrificing having no points out, no restaurant eating out with your girlfriend, if you have one or not. So there's a lot of, um, a lot of sacrifices when you're doing a night shift. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video.